Hello there, it's Carrie Rhodes here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today's card is part of the Coffee Lovers Hop. I am participating in an Instagram hop with Not Too Shabby, sharing their brand new digital release, the Some Bunny Bring Me Coffee. It is for, of course, the Coffee Lovers Hop. So let's jump in and look at the card I'm making today. I have created this frame using my silhouette and the Some Bunny Lo Bring Me Coffee digital stamp set. Here's the bunny from that set and the sentiment and the egg. So I'm gonna show you what I did in my silhouette real quick, not too in depth, but I took the two eggs and I put them side by side and grouped them together and traced them. Then I took the tracing of those eggs and put them together with these two tri rectangles that I drew out in my silhouette design studio and now i'm going to erase the lines where these overlap so i can create a frame for a shaker card i made the largest frame to be 8.25 by 3.25 inches and then i had the inner one be about um, a half an inch smaller than that. So I've erased those lines. I brought in the bunny and I am going to trace around that. So I'm going to the trace panel um, and because you see it has a white rectangle around it, I wanna remove that white rectangle. Do you see that? When I move it over that square, you can see there's um, a white edge. So what I'm gonna do is click to the um, trace button and then once that's traced I'm going to click on that trace line and push the offset button and then I, when I offset that I'm going to reduce the line around it to be about 0 0.045 and then I can delete my trace line also it traced some of the inside of the bunny so I'm going to release the compound path by right clicking on the bunny and then I can delete those extra red lines that I don't need one thing I'm not showing you here you also want to push the send button and tell the silhouette not to cut out the actual bunny we only want it to cut on that red line around it so then I print and cut all of those things including the frame from pink cardstock and then I have some extra frames to make this more sturdy and thicker to be my shaker card and now I have an outline of pink around my eggs instead of cutting them with an outline I cut the eggs cut right on the line of the stamped image so that gives it that pink border on this custom frame that I made. So I put a window sheet on the back of my top frame, which by the way, I also gave it a stitched edge when I did the pink one just by adding in a, a, a dashed line on to that uh, image before I went ahead and cut it with my silhouette. And then I have about seven layers, I believe, of frames on this to make it thick enough for a shaker. So I'm gonna let that dry and I'll come in and color my eggs. Now these eggs are super cute from this new digital release because they have little coffee beans as part of the decoration and little mugs of coffee. I thought it was so cute and so clever. So I'm gonna go ahead and color these out. I'm gonna color both sets of eggs the same. Now these eggs don't come attached to each other. It's a single image, but in my silhouette, I was able to overlap them and group them together to make them as if they were one image, which is one reason I love playing in my silhouette design studio with my digital stamps. Now you don't have to do this. You could totally print this out on your printer and cut it out and then glue the two eggs together. You also wouldn't have to do the shaker frame like I did. You could use a regular frame that you would die cut with your slim line dies and just attach the eggs in the corner. I just love incorporating my um, silhouette design studio with my digital stamps and making fun creations like this. So that's why I do it this way, but you can do it whatever way and with whatever things that you have. Digital stamps are very versatile that way. So now I'm gonna go ahead and color out the bunny. I am using E35 as my darkest color and adding in my shadows first. Sometimes I do that. 
<laughs> Sometimes I like to start with the lightest color and then go back and forth, but for some reason today I just went for it with my darkest color and then brought in my lightest, which is E33. I will go back and forth between the two colors another time just to really intensify the shadow there. I am going to leave his hands white and I will shade them with my... Um, W0 marker, I believe, a warm gray marker to um, just give them a little bit of a shadow as I will on his cheeks and his tail. I also used a little bit of pink for the inside of the ears, the nose, and just the very inside of the cheeks that are by the nose. And I colored the cup as well. And I'm adding some highlights with my white Jelly Roll pen. I believe this is a size eight pen today. And then I, no, it's the 10. I usually use the 10. I, I like that size the best. But sometimes on smaller images, I use the size 8 pen. I added white highlights to the eggs as well, and then I can glue them down so they have that little bit of a pink border around them from my frame. And it's kind of hard to see the stitching there, but maybe in the end in the close-up photos, you can see the stitched frame I, that I added to this um card front. So I'm gluing down the bunny and then my sentiment, which I also traced and offset in my Silhouette Design Studio. Now we're going to make a coffee background using a shaving cream. This is one of my favorite backgrounds to make. I'm spraying some shaving cream onto a plate. Make sure you get cream and not the gel. And then I'm using some liquid color. This is a dye-based ink. You could use any dye-based ink that you would use for like re-inking your stamp pads. Um, or liquid watercolor. I mean, really just play with this. There's so many things you could do here. I am swirling it around with a plastic knife. I kind of wish I would have swirled it a little bit more. And then I'm going to add some bubblegum silk. This is one of my favorite things. Some pink splatter because I'm going for that pink and brown look if you hadn't caught on to that yet. <laughs> and I'm pressing the paper into that shaving cream. It's so satisfying and so fun. It really looks like ice cream to me and ice cream is one of my favorite things ever so this makes me happy I love it and I really think it turned out cool with that splatter by the way that silk has shimmer in it so it looks really cool now with your shaving cream you do have enough ink there you can make two or three different backgrounds and they're all going to look different and if you feel like you have a a spot that's blank, you can also press it back in there. And then when it's on a paper plate, you just fold up the paper plate and toss it. Now I have some walnut stain distress ink on a window sheet and a scraggly paintbrush dipped in water and I'm using that to splatter on some brown in my background just to give it more of a coffee feel. I'm going to set that aside to dry and get my panel ready. So I added some double stick tape all the way around the edge of this card and some liquid glue. Then I am bringing in these sprinkles from Trinity Stamps. They're called Napolitan and that's because there's pink and brown and white like chocolate, strawberry, and vanilla. But I thought they went so so good with this card and then I'm pressing my background down onto that to make sure that it is secure and I have some uh, card base that is a brown layer that is eight and a half by seven scored at three and a half and then I'm going to bring in these gemstone stickers from honeybee and add some pink and it's kind of a tannish gold color so I thought it would go good with this card just three in each corner to give it a little bit of bling and um play into that pink and brown on my card I just love the sound of this I love how it turned out the uh shaving cream background makes me so happy and it really reminds me of like coffee that has the whipped cream melting into it and swirling around. You can see more inspiration with this stamp set in today's hop from the Not Too Shabby team. I'll have a link to my Instagram in the description box for you below. And this is part of a hop, which means there is a giveaway and there's also a sale at the Not Too Shabby shop. So I will have all the details on all the things in the description box for you below and you're going to enjoy all the projects that you see today so make sure you give some love to the designers leave some comments and hearts as you go thank you so much for stopping by i will see you all again very soon in the next video right here if you're new feel free to subscribe and ring the bell and then youtube will let you know next time i have a video happy stamping bye